Hello guys, you're welcome once more to my more exam prep of the ultimate destination where we solve all problems on math. Today we are going to be looking at a problem on log three, as it is written on the board. It says simplify log eight base four. All right, so I have to be simplify this question. The first thing I want to understand is four means what two times two, and eight means what two times two times two. Okay. I can write this in the exponential form as 2 raised to the power 2, and this as what? 2 raised to the power 1, 2, 3. Okay? So with this, instead of 4, I'm going to put this. Instead of 8, I'm going to use this. So let's try that. So our solution, I have log 2 raised to the power 2. That's for the 4. Okay? Now for 8, we have what? 2 raised to the power 3. Alright, so from this, I'm going to apply what? Power of number, what? Law. So these three can come here as a coefficient. So 3, okay, log, okay, 2, and 2 raised to the power 2. So power of number log, anytime you see power, okay, on a number, you can always bring it down as a coefficient. That is the principle of logarithm. All right, so from this, what can we do next? How can we simplify this further? Now, I can also observe that there is a power here at the base. We can also remove what that power. But let's see how we are going to remove that. Now, to remove that power, we are going to apply what? Another law called power of what? Base. Power of base law of logarithm. Now the power of base law of logarithm is such that if I have, as I have log n, a raised to the power of what? n. Okay, so all I'm going to do is this can come here. But if it comes, we must put 1 over. If this power comes here, it must be one inverse of the power. Okay, now we can write all this without the power. So I have log n, this a. So we are going to do it to this. If we apply it here, okay, of course, next I'm going to get this will become 3, okay, multiply. This becomes what? Inverse of 2 log 2 base 2. All right, so this becomes this. Now, from this, we can recognize something here. Okay, applying the, the law of logarithm that if we have the same what number and base, the same number and the same base, it means what? 1. So, this means what? 3 times what? Half times what? All this means what? So this is going to give us, okay, I can say 3 over 1 times what? Half times what? 1 over 1. So 3 times 1 is 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1, 1 times 2 is 2, times 1 is 2. So our final answer to this problem is going to be what? 3 over what? 2. All right, so... The solution to this problem after simplification, as we can see, gives us the final answer 3 over 2. Or you can still write it as this. In this form, we have it as what? A mixed fraction because this is an improvement. But most times in your exams, you may see your answer as this. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button. And make sure you also hit the like button, share this video to your friends and loved ones, and watch out for more videos. Bye.